Hi, welcome back to the garden. It is Friday, October 8th. You know what we do at my house on Friday? We plant. Today we're going to look at the simplest cold frame there is. We're overlapping it here so that the end is just at the edge of the bale and the other end is just at the edge of this bale. Each one of these frames we'll go ahead and we'll wrap in plastic. We're going to take the plastic over far enough that we'll be able to drape over the edge and then pull mulch over it to seal it up when it gets really cold. By having different sizes, overlapping mig is really easy. And that also will stop in any air gaps. Now we have some brassicas that we started that have sprouted. Some of them have their first true leaves. Some of them have been attacked by slugs. I'm gonna go ahead and get them in the garden. We also have some beet seeds. Has anybody ever said you can't have too many beets? All right, now that we got our spacing, we can just lay our frames back. We're gonna go ahead and put in a row of beets. Has anybody ever said you can't have enough beets? Last winter we did really well with beets in the late season. We're we'll gonna try that again this year. So just light cover. We'll come back and water this in a minute. Now these are the seeds we harvested, so I'm putting them in kind of heavy. I know we have some germination, but I don't know what the actual percentage since these are free, we can afford to put them in heavy, and if they all come up, we'll just thin them out. Kind of roost out, just a little pat. We are going to get some weather coming in on Sunday. Warmed up nicely today. It's about 90 degrees out right now. All right, there's some good soil contact. We'll come back and water that in in a minute. We're going to go ahead and put these brassicas in the ground. We'll see what we get. It's either broccoli, it's got some really nice roots on it. It's either broccoli or cabbage or bok choy. But everything in this flat is the same, so we'll put these together. They got some really nice little roots on them. Now, if they're cabbages, probably too close together. If they're bok choy, they're probably they're all probably too close together. But you know me and putting them too close together. The whole principle behind this, you're using a north facing bale as a thermal mass. You pull your deep mulch out to the base of your frame, whatever material you're using. In this case, I've got a metal frame and then I've got an old screen. And there you go the easiest winter coal frame you can make. Use a couple bales of straw or hay as a thermal sink on the north side. Lean a frame against it, cover that frame with plastic, plant away. There's several crops that'll take the cool weather. The brassicas and the beets, which we just planted, will do just fine. You still got time to get a winter garden in. Why don't you give her a try? It's fun. I do want to thank you for stopping by and helping me set mine up. This is the easiest winter garden you'll ever put together. Now the square coal frames we're going to set up, they're going to only be two bales wide, two bales long. We're going to do the same thing on the front of each one of those. If it's anything like last winter, we ought to have quite a little selection of stuff growing all winter long. Well, we'll see what we get. But I do want to thank you for stopping by the garden today and helping me lay this one out. Hope this is helpful. And until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.